Virtual reality. One of the most immersive ways to play a game. <laughs> Games like Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Come on. Oh, I missed. I missed. Pavlov Shack. VR chat. So I thought, why not buy an Oculus and try out some of these games that I've been hearing about? And I'd say every single one of those games I just mentioned is a must play. And two of them are free. Having had a pretty good experience with Oculus games and hearing Bone Lab was coming out, I was kind of excited. I knew I had some pretty good physics, but other than that, I didn't really know what to expect. So when I saw that Bone Lab was $40, which is basically the maximum price of a VR game, at least on Oculus, I don't know about other stores like Steam, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to buy a $40 low quality sandbox with no real story or replayability. But then we get the Nord video, which hyped the shit out of the game. The entire pandemic and, and, and change, mm -hmm. we've been working on a game called Bone Lab. Yeah. And it is done. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying! Last time we did PC VR only. Mm -hmm. This is our first game for the quest. So this is the lab. We're not going to get into any spoilers, so do not fear this video. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let me get it. Get in there. So you were saying that the avatars will also change like recoil and stuff? Mm-hmm. The tracking with the elbows and everything is really nice too. <laughs> You guys are gonna freak out when you play this. This is uh, this is such a game changer when it comes to VR. Not only just content, but just you buy a game, especially a VR game, you play it once, probably won't play it again. But this, there's so much you can do. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. People saw Boneworks, they're like, we like Boneworks. We took that money mm -hmm. and we built Bone Lab. We took that money, we took that money, we took that money. So I buy the $40 game, and as I'm playing it, surprisingly, it is super immersive. For about 10 minutes till I break the inventory. I've been working on a game called Bone Lab, yeah. and it is done. Done, 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 done. You hear that? It's done. This is our first game for the quest. A lot of people thought that, that would mean like we'd have to offer a game experience of yeah. it. Such a game changer when it comes to VR. But I keep playing, and I gotta say, the first level of the game really was fun, and it didn't stop there. There are five game modes. Sandbox. Can I open? Oh my. Oh, that's just gross, dude. Dude, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Tax something, I, I don't care.
I love moving like I'm actually in slow motion. Parkour. Experimental bone bowling. Wee. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> My voice cracked when I did that. Wee. And arena. The arena. Bring the challenge. All are very fun at first, but it was around the two hour mark, which is conveniently exactly when the return policy expires. I slowly stopped having fun and realized all the missing content from the awful map design. <laughs> Look at that. What is the point of this? I really feel like I'm in a fucking, um... VR chat world. To lack of direction... This game is like full of puzzles, bro. Get the balls, put the balls in the thingy holes to unlock that. Which, holy shit, dude. A little explanation would have been nice. And the music, just super inconsistent. It's either really good or it's really, really bad. Out of the 10 levels, I think only two or three of them were actually good, and that's just me being generous. I think the city level was good. Whoa. Wait, I wanna see if I can get someone with a plunger. Does this actually plunge? Yeah. The bridge level was okay. Yo. And I'm not even sure about the first level because the only reason it was good is because it had potential in the beginning. I have a few more problems I want to address. I'm just gonna say it because I don't like being one of the. I don't want to be one of those commentary YouTubers that makes a four-hour video why something sucks. The enemies are extremely repetitive. There's the crab boy, the glowing guy, the other glowing guy, and the hazmat suit. And the two glowing guys pretty much do the same shit. It's definitely on the level of Sea of Thieves. <laughs> ha -har! That's all of them. I can't believe we managed to defeat the notorious Captain Quick Dickin and his 32 identical twin brothers. 
weapons. Oh my God, get me started on that. The melee weapons don't work. The guns are okay, except for when reloading. When reloading your gun, if you hold the magazine up to the other one, it just pops out. Sounds cool, right? Sounds like, oh, that's a real time saver. No. Let's say you're shooting the rifle and you just want to switch to your sidearm because it's faster than reloading. <laughs> well, the ammo is right next to your sidearm. So let's say you accidentally take out the ammo instead of your pistol. Just put the ammo back, right? No. You don't have unlimited ammo either. So dropping it every single time you want to take out your pistol is so fucking annoying. And it happens all the time. Easter egg hunting. Oh my god. Now on paper, I'm sure it sounds fun and that it adds a lot of replayability. But when you implement it into the game, it forces players to just go on YouTube and search egg locations to find the potted plant. This video is here to show you how to find all 149 capsules exactly that are currently in the game. Okay. One so of here. Um, in this video, you basically be taking the date we're on the start of the screen It takes so much away from the sandbox, which is kind of fun for the first five minutes. But when you make your sandbox mode not a sandbox, because when I think of sandbox and I think anyone thinks of sandbox, they think like, oh, it's like creative mode. I get everything. I get to fucking do whatever I want, right? That's what a sandbox is supposed to be, right? No. Visual quality. Oh my God. The game looks okay, but it's just not what we were promised. The biggest marketing point of the game was that it's pretty much identical. No, it is supposed to be identical to PC. It's not. It's just, it's not. Pricing. The game is not worth $40, and I think this is a big problem with Oculus games in general. I mean, mostly all games in general. Since the Oculus isn't as powerful as a PC VR, a lot of Oculus games have to lower the visual quality, which is perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. As long as you lower the price to match the lower quality, Quality. After playing the game, it feels like it was unfinished and that they just released it to make money and then promised to improve the game with money that they just stole from the people that bought the game. Which is, it doesn't, it sounds familiar, don't it? You know, doesn't that sound like something that happens quite a bit? feel as though your journey has come to close nay you are but beginning we can only offer light so far yet the void stretches endless dude this is the most fucking it's unfinished. It's literally unfinished. And like anyone that doesn't see that this is just an unfinished game, they want your money so they can keep building. It's basically like a loan almost, you know? This is the most ultimate fucking uh, No Man's Sky, bro. It's literally it. They release an unfinished game, you buy it, and then this is what you get. Piece of shit. It'll be good. Oh, just give it fucking six more years and then it'll all be good. No, dude. I want my money back. Should you should you buy the game? Should you buy the game? Um, no. It is a huge waste of money, and it's just it's a steal. It's they're literally stealing it and then promising to make it better with modded content that they're not even going to be doing the modding. Fuck them. Fuck this studio. Fuck everyone about it. Fuck this. I don't like it. It is a let me. It is let me rate this. This is a. Five out of ten. It's a five out of ten. Maybe a four. It's probably a four. This is my badass seal of approval. Reproval? Approval. We took that money. We took that money. We took that money. 